Hello, my name is Erica, and I'm the Dyslexic Trekkie. This week, I'm going to discuss something that came up during the Voyager premiere video. The topic has to do with sexual assault. If this is something you're not comfortable with, I understand, and I hope you'll join us next week when I examine the next episode for the Janeway series. I'd like to say up front that I do take the issue of sexual assault seriously. This is a serious subject that touches every woman in some way or another. I ask this question to explore the actions of the entity known as the caretaker. When I saw the episode again, it disturbed me more than I expected. I'd like to do a quick recap of the events of the story from the perspective of the Guardian. He's dying. I'm guessing of old age. He has this incredible responsibility and knows the Akampa won't make it on their own. So he starts looking for a way to replace himself. His solution isn't to reach out for help. It's not to try to contact his people. No, he starts taking people from all over the galaxy, holding them hostage for days, then performing experiments to extract reproductive material. He then returns them to their ships and leaves them there. I don't know about you, but I think something deeply disturbing is happening here. First, let's consider this. If you attempt to procreate without the permission of the individual, is that assault? In this case, I'd say yes. The moment when that long needle goes into the abdomen of both Captain Janeway and then Ensign Kim can't be called anything but assault. He doesn't even sedate them until after he starts, and given they have lost time, he clearly can. To top it off, those he tries to mate with are left dying. It becomes clear that he doesn't really respect those he takes. He just needs some DNA. There's one last point. He's a spore-assisting life. Now, this is a fictional classification, but Spore says fungus to me. How did he expect this to work with animals? I get fungi and animals are closely related, but not that much. I'm guessing what killed all his specimens was transferring his DNA into the victims. I get desperate, but this is ridiculous. So to answer my question, yes, I think the Guardian is a mass rapist. The casual way it's treated in the episode is disturbing. Aside from Kess and Neelix, every crew member is a sexual assault survivor, and it's never brought up again. It's just a weird part of the story about why they are all trapped. I don't expect the crew to be all huddled in corners, unable to talk, but I feel it should have at least been brought up. I know this isn't a fun topic, but it was something I wanted to talk about. I'll also be creating some of these shorter content videos occasionally to accommodate my work schedule. I promise they won't all be such heavy subjects. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any thoughts or comments about this topic, if you think there's a point I didn't consider, feel free to tell me in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm the Dyslexic Trekkie. Ensign Bradbury would like to have his word on it, too. It's a very upsetting topic. Ray is very talkative tonight. Yeah. You got a lot to say? Yeah. I know. But I gotta finish this video.